Hi, my name is Mildew, and this is my submission video for Cat in the Hat on PlayStation 1. Cat in the Hat on PlayStation 1 is basically a children's adventure game that is fairly short. It has three levels with three mini games after each level. Uh, we're going to get started right here after we put in our name. And yeah, here's the first loading screen. So right off the bat, we're going to uh, grab these keys because we're going to need them basically throughout the entirety of the run. Um, the game basically revolves around Cat gathering items to inter entertain uh, his guests. So uh, items such as this rake will uh, be on that list of things needed. So we're going to do a glitch here where we open up the item menu and open the door at the same time. And uh, that basically causes Cat to warp across the room and bring us to uh, optimal spaces um, needed for the run. So we're going to give the girl the doll because she gives us candles and we're going to need those candles later on in the level. I'm um, just going to grab this ball with this really long animation, press the triangle button to cancel out the item menu coming up, and then we're going to do the glitch once again in order to get halfway through this room. Uh, this is quite a bit uh, of a time faster than if I were to normally go into the room and walk down and then back. So now that we have the step stool and the books that we need, we're going to basically finish up the level uh, by doing the glitch once again, if I can get it, there we go, uh, grabbing this bottle of milk, putting the candles on the cake, grabbing the cake because we need the cake, then we're going to drain the sink and then grab the thing that's in the sink, I can't remember what it is. Uh, and then we're going to use the bottle of milk to fill that glass. We're going to grab the glass because we need that. And then use the step stool and the small key to grab this cup. And that is the end of the first level. So after each level it gives you a rating. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I think that has to do with like the speed or something. Or yeah, how fast you complete the level. We're just going to get like three hats all the time because we're fast. So this is the first minigame, uh, I believe it's called Up 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 with a Fish, and uh, basically uh, Cat just threw everything up into the air and he's got to catch it. And I think this is pretty bad RNG, I think, yeah this is actually pretty bad. I can use, I can get around a 35 or so, and this is going to be like a, yeah this is really bad actually. I don't think I've ever had it that, <laughs> that slow before. Alright, well that minigame is done, and we're on to the second level. Now this level has a uh, couple of warps as well, but I do have to be careful uh, where I'm positioned, because if I'm positioned wrong, like, especially for that, uh, this warp right here, I will actually be stuck in the easel, and I won't be able to move. So now that we got that, we're going to head into the bathroom where we will grab some paper towels that we need uh, in order for actually the rolls and not the paper towel itself. Uh, we're going to dry off these brushes because we're, we need those as well. And then we're going to use the chair here that we got in order to get into the attic. Now once we're in the attic, we're going to not do that, we're going to pick up the uh, sheet because we need that and we're going to need these suspenders as well because the boy needs something very stretchy uh, because he has an item that we need and in order for us to get the item that we need, we're going to need to barter with the kid in order to uh, get the item. So we're going to do the glitch again right there, and we're going to use the paper towel roll on that fan to kind of get the paper towels that rolls that we need in order to finish the level. Uh, we also need to grab the jacks that are in there. 
and we're gonna go back out here. We're gonna do the glitch once again in order to get right by the boy where we grab the, give him the elastic. And he just has a grand old time with the elastic right there. We need the bed sheets, and then we're gonna use the brushes on the pencil sharpener to make two smaller sticks, because apparently we need those. Uh, and then once that is done, we're going to come back into here and finish off the level, just like that. So that's level two, uh, pretty easy. Uh, this is fun in a box, and uh, don't blink here. Alright, I actually messed it up. Never mind, I am a god. So, <laughs> yeah, so you gotta grab both things and conveniently run one runs towards you, but I conveniently forgot that. And the other one just, you know, you grab the other one on the way back. So this is level three. Uh, we're gonna be revisiting rooms quite a bit in this level. Uh, we're gonna grab the jack and the rusty saw from that box, and then we're gonna immediately go into this room and sand the rusty saw to make it not rusty. And we're gonna go into this room, grab the gloves that are here, because we need those. We're gonna need this tire wheel up here, that's our first item. Then we're gonna use the saw on the stick, that's our second item. And then we're gonna grab the steering wheel from in this little cart, and that's our third item that we need from here. Now that that is done, I'm gonna be at the bottom of this door right here, and this actually matters quite a bit, because if I'm not at the bottom of the door, then I will actually be stuck in the drawers in the back there. So we're gonna grab a couple of things from here, and then we're gonna give the little boy the stick, and he has the best two frames of animation in this entire game right in that horse. So now that we're done with that, we're going to uh, use the... We're going to at first actually grab this flashlight that's at the end of the room. And we're going to use the jack on the car. And then we're going to use the tire iron to grab the tires off of that car. Now the girl needs a screwdriver, we're gonna give it to her, and then she gives us the bike pedals that we need as well. So here's a cool thing, we're gonna go into this room, we're gonna do the glitch on this side of the room, if I can do it, and now we're by the washing machine. And we need that, we need to do that in order to get the wet gloves, because they were dirty, and we need to clean them. So now we're going to use the flashlight to find the, fla the, the light switch in order to be able to turn off the water and grab this pipe because we need the pipe. And then finally, we're going to put the wet gloves into the washing machine and that's the end of that level. So this is the last uh, mini game, picking up the playthings. This is basically the end of the game. Uh, each of the face buttons uh, correspond to one of the arms on the, uh, the vehicle here. And it's very disorienting because this is square. I had to press it there so I couldn't even uh, show you how it's kind of disorienting. But the bottom one is the square and the, that one is the circle button. So basically, we're just gonna pick up 18 more things, and that's basically the end of the run. Um, I don't really have much to say, um, you know, except I hope you consider letting me run this video game in your marathon. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Come back in just to say that uh, time will be when congratulations is on the screen after I pick up the last item.
that's the end of the run. Once again, thank you for watching, and I do hope you consider this game to be featured in the marathon. Goodbye.